in the context of thinking you've heard terms like intuition critical thinking creative thinking logical thinking and a more recent addition computational thinking to understand these terms imagine a thinking skills continuum in this continuum there is instinct which is an innate behavior that is performed without prior experience or learning for example a newborn baby knows how to suckle it is not a skill that the baby has to learn then there is intuition which is different from instinct in psychology intuition is understood as rapid cognition based on experience extremely rapidly a person is able to recognize a pattern that is not very apparent to others there are many cases of firemen nurses and pilots making split second decisions based on their intuition because they have a lot of experience and can do split second pattern recognition nurses can often judge an emergency simply by looking at a patient in the thinking skills continuum we then enter the realm of deliberate thinking that system 2 thinking we discussed earlier deliberate thinking is thinking consciously and not automatically we try to remain aware of our inherent assumptions biases and beliefs here we meet critical reflective or independent thinking critical thinking is the ability to rationally analyze information and arrive at a reasoned judgment for example while analyzing an argument critically one will look at all the claims being made and evaluate the evidence for each claim to ensure there is no bias or fallacy in the claim some people challenge the utility of critical thinking in practical decision making they endorse the idea of bounded rationality when individuals make decisions their rationality is limited by the information they have and the time available to make a decision nobel laureate herbert a simon coined the term satisfying to denote choices and judgments we make that are good enough we go with the first satisfactory solution we find to a problem and stop there instead of exploring further for a better solution if we persist we may find a more optimal solution but information and time are our constraints in this part of the thinking skills continuum there is also logical thinking which includes inductive and deductive reasoning when you go from the general principle to the special case you're using deductive reasoning for example all dogs bark general principle hence your dog must bark too special case on the other hand when you go from the special case to the general principle you're using inductive reasoning for example be careful around that bee special case as it might sting you general principle that all bees might sting we will continue exploring the thinking skills continuum in our next video